This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. To see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Let's begin the sample. Now we're not going to memorize all these commandlets, but most likely we're going to know what we want to do. So let's say we want to work with printers or print jobs or something like that. Well, we're not going to know the commandlet name right off the bat. We're going to have to find it, and we can use the get dash command commandlet to help us find it. And with that, we can use wildcards. So if I am looking for something about printers, I could do star print star. So this is going to get any commands that have the word print in them. And under command type, it's actually going to tell us what it is. In our case here, it's a function or a commandlet or an application. Applications are generally just going to be uh, EXEs, so stuff we used to run from the command line. We've already talked about commandlets, and then functions we'll talk about in a little bit. Either way, we can use all of these. So if I want to remove a printer, okay, well, I just found the name of the, in our case, the function, which we'll use it just like a commandlet. So now I would probably type in get dash help remove printer. Hit enter and get more information on it. I could do the minus full parameter and get all the information on it. So I just found what I needed. Now the really nice thing about PowerShell is the naming convention. You can see, let's go back here, get our uh, get command print. So you can see it's a verb noun, so it's verb dash noun naming convention. So we're adding a printer, adding a print driver, or getting information about a printer port, getting printer property, or setting. Setting normally means we're changing something. So set print configuration. So it's very user friendly and human readable. So if we actually look at, if we get help on the get dash command commandlet, and I'll just use full, we can see the different parameters we can specify here. Let me scroll up a bit. And the two we're going to work with is minus noun or minus verb. So we can actually specify in the verb part what we're looking for or in the noun part what we're looking for. So let's say we're trying to configure a printer. So most likely we're setting something. So I'm going to go back, let's do get dash command, and I'm going to type in minus verb set a space and then minus noun I'm going to use my wild cards type in print hit enter and now it's going to return anything with a verb of set and anything with the noun part that's after the dash with the word print in it and there are quite a few uh, approved verbs if we want to look at them we can do uh, get dash verb so all of these are going to be the verbs, so in front of the dash. So this is what we're doing. We're resetting or resizing or searching. And then there'd be a dash, and then after it'd be a noun. So what are we searching? What are we selecting? What are we setting? So knowing these verbs can help us find what we're looking for. And if that fails, of course, we've always got our Internet browser. You know, search Google, search Bing uh, for a commandlet that does such and such and most likely you'll get the commandlet name and then you can use get dash help to get more information on that commandlet and the different syntax and parameters for it.